53 KZ2 carts lined up for qualifying in Friday afternoon. And we're about to get underway with the final 34 here at Castelletto di Branduzzo. It is an all French soddy cart front row of the grid. They have been awesome thus far in 2017. They won both pre-finals with their team drivers, cart number 44, Anthony Abbas, the Frenchman, to line up on pole. He won pre-final A. And Bas Lemmers, the former World Cup champion, the Dutchman in 45, won pre-final B. The Soddy cart team that are desperate to win in 2017. Anthony Abbas, remember, he's the vice world champion. Coming second to Paolo De Conto in Christianstad six months ago. De Conto himself, the reigning world champion, starts out of grid number eight. Soddy Cart, though, absolutely determined to win in 2017. Remember, they have not won the world championships since David Tedian at Laval way back in 1993. I've said that a few times. Soddy Cart have come close. Arno Kozlinski at Le Mans. In 2015, Abbas, as we mentioned, six months ago. What a start to 2017. They have been the talking point this year. Alex Irlando, also for CPB Sport, in another TM-powered Soddy. He'll start out of grid number six. There is the pole sitter. To the left of your screen, cart 44, Anthony Abbas. To the right of your screen, Bas Lemmers. The French manufacturer means business. In 2017, the cart working superbly. Don't rule out them taking a 1-2 here this afternoon. 32 other drivers would like to beat either Abbas or Lemmers to the chequered flag. That is the scene here at Castelletto. 34, these KZ2 carts on the start-finish straight. There's Paolo De Conto to the right of your screen, standing ready to go out of the cart. Unlike a bass, head down over the steering wheel. Immense concentration for these 34 of the best kart racing drivers on the planet. The grid girls leave the circuit. Means we're only a moment or so away from the start of the final here this afternoon. The heats held in changeable conditions yesterday. This will be something else. There is not a whole lot of Bridgestone rubber on the circuit, courtesy of the rain showers that we had. The track is not very rubbered in. It's about a second off, if not 1.2, 1.3 seconds off. It's optimum. These carts will lay down Bridgestone rubber. The track will get quicker as the race goes on. The one-minute board goes up here at Castelletto di Branduzzo, the second round of the KZ2. Supermaster Series. Fifty-three entries, as we mentioned. It is so competitive. Uh, quite a few drivers did make, miss the cut, including Diego Bertonelli, who spent last year racing the Italian F4 Championship. He's back in 2017 for Renda Motorsport. The 60 Tony car didn't make it through. Diego's a superstar driver, but that's how competitive this field is. We are underway. This is the first of the two formation laps. Abbas and Lammers on the front row of the grid. Ardigo and Iglesias. There's the Frenchman in the Formula K card on the second row. And it's Patrick Hayek's Alex Irlando makes it three soddy carts in the top six. Fourth row of the grid features two world champions. Almost. The younger brother of which, I should say. Stan the Man Pex, winner of the WSK Champions Cup in January, and the reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto. Marijn Kramers, the Dutchman, alongside Luca Corberi. Andrea Dale, that's Jorik Pex, Stan's older brother. He's the 2015 world champion. Douglas Lundberg, another CPB Soddy Cup. Flavio Camponeschi. 2012 world champion Martin van Leeuwen, Ben van Henley, the croc promotion card who came storming through from the back of the grid in the pre-final. Then it's Drezen, Puhaka, Norris, Vigano, 
Felici Tiene and Tom Lue. Emil Scaris, Jorge Pescador out of 24, who started on pole position at this very race two years ago. Ippolito, Ben Tornquist, Lorenzo Complesi, Alessandro Pellizzari, the CKR car that took a heat win yesterday. The German Maximilian Paul starts alongside Piers Lahane from Sydney, Australia. Remember, Piers is the 2015 Rotax Max champion. Certainly a step up for him this weekend, although he is racing KZ2 back in his national series. David Foray way back on the 16th row of the grid, the four-time world champion. Alongside Adrien Reynaudi and the Frenchman is aboard a, guess what? Yes, it's a Saudi car. The final row of the grid, Alessandro Giardelli and another German driver, Leon Kola. There is the assistant race director, Mr. Marco Carlino, with the red flag. Abbas moves to the left side of your screen. Lemmers to his left, your right. There's Ardigo, number 51, the second row of the grid. The reigning European champion, three-time world champion, makes an adjustment to the radiator, just lowers the blind to let optimum airflow in. Martin van Leeuwen pulls into position. Here's Ben Hanley in the Croc promotion cart, the yellow helmet, the right of your screen. Felici Tiene, Birol Art for 2017. A lot of work to do for the World Cup champion. Cart number four on the 11th row of the grid. There's Reynaudin pulling into position. We're ready to go. The second round of the Super Master Series, an all Soddy cart front row of the grid. Lammers rockets off the line, cuts off Ardigo. Iglesias tries the outside, but it's Anthony Abbas who leads away from pole position. Ardigo back to fourth spot. A good start by Patrick Hayek in the Cosmic Kart. The driver from the Czech Republic up into position number five. Then it's the CRGs. Stan Pex, Paolo De Conto leading the charge as Lemmers closes over the back of Iglesias, Habas, cart number 44, leads the opening lap, the fastest qualifier, Saudi cart, are running one and two. Their biggest threat is that the driver in third, he is from France, but he's aboard a Formula K car. They come across the line for the first time, Saudi cart, run one and two, Abbas limbers up the inside, the teammates side by side, oh, Iglesias almost has his nose chopped off, they trade positions, Lemmers now leads the Dutchman from the two French drivers, one of which is aboard a Saudi car, the other in the Formula K, Abbas looks behind him. I'm not sure he appreciated that move from his teammate. It was fair, it was clean. Let's see if he strikes back. Iglesias, super quick, lightning quick, so far in his new Formula K team for 2017. And you cannot discount Kart 51, the three-time world champion. They're coming up to the end of the second lap. Hayek in position number five. Then it's Stan, the man Pex, leading the reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto, in P6. Artigo goes very wide, coming onto the straight. Hayek is too far back to capitalize. Iglesias looking to split up the French carts right in front of him. He may be from France, but he's driving a different manufactured cart. The Formula K, it's a bottle green machine, then the classic green machine, the Tony Kart, as a bass pulls up the inside, side by side. Oh, Iglesias follows him through. Lemmers from the lead back to fourth spot. Artigo has gone through. Patrick Hayek now over the back of Bass Lemmers, who two quarters ago was leading Jeremy Iglesias now. He has got through to the lead. This is unbelievable stuff here at Castelletto. Artigo up into position three. The Saudi Karts, after dominating all weekend, they started on the front row of the grid. They're now in second and fourth. Artigo, Artigo up the inside. Oh, how good was that? How good was that? But Anthony Abbas was having none of it. The Tony Kart climbed up over the back of the Saudi Kart. Artigo is back in sixth, maybe seventh spot. Unbelievable. The Saudi Karts in formation, but they're not at the lead of the race. They're in second and third. Jeremy Iglesias has put four tenths of a second 
over his countrymen. There's Moraine Kramer's going through. He's ahead of Alex Irlando in another Soddy cart. Paolo De Conto, there he is in cart one. He's capitalized on it. He's now up into position number four. How good is this? There's Kramer's going through. Alex Irlando, Luca Corberi, Flavio Camponeschi. No surprise to see the sportsmanship flag, the warning flag being displayed on the start finish straight. You know why that was a lap or two ago. De Conto in the CRG. And while all that was happening, Jorge Pescador, the Spaniard in the Praga cart, he's down in 17th, but he's just hit the fastest lap of the race. Iglesias has got six tenths of a second over the pole sitter. Abbas, Lemmers back into third spot. De Conto, Patrick Hayek in the Cosmic cart. Then it's Stan the Man Pex, winner of the WSK Champions Cup back in January at Adria. Running inside the top six. His elder brother, 2015 world champion, is the only retirement from the race so far as Lemmers goes down the inside of his teammate. Meanwhile, Artigo sneaks through on Alex Irlando, the two Italians. Artigo back up into position number eight. Irlando back to ninth. And Luca Corberi, who won two heats in the rain yesterday, rounds out the ten. Look at Lemmers, head down behind the steering wheel. The Dutchman driving the wheels off that cart. And De Conto down the inside makes contact with the pass. De Conto is out. The reigning world champion is a retirement at the far part of the circuit. He got airborne. He touched the back of a bass. I'd suggest that's the end of his race. He may well have damage. Certainly he's lost a ton of time. And he's back in position number six. Let's take a look at the replay. Made the move down the inside. A bass didn't want to let him in. Gave him away. Said thanks very much. In a very sarcastic tone, I'd suggest. He's out. The reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto, joins the 2015 world champion, Jordan Pex, as the only retirements of the race so far. This is sensational here at Castelletto di Branduzzo. The Soddy Cart attack. Well, then there was two. Jeremy Iglesias in the Formula K. He is the leader. The gap has come down a little bit to five tenths of a second back to Bas Lemmers. Moraine Kramers up into position number five. The Dutchman driving superbly. He's behind his countryman, Stan Pex. Of course, Stan now up into fourth courtesy of that retirement from Paolo De Conto. The gap down to three tenths of a second between Bass Lammers and Jeremy Iglesias. Up the back straight they go at more than 130 k's an hour. The front two starting to pull away from third place, Patrick Hayek. Stan Pex being hassled by his countryman Kramers in the Birrell Art. Bass is still circulating, he's in sixth position with a suspect cart. And you've got Marco Artigo right behind him. Those two, of course, had contact four laps ago themselves. And Artigo, though, nothing wrong with his cart. He's some way back. He's just set the fastest lap of the race. The gap down to two tenths of a second. The French driver in the Italian manufactured Formula K cart. The Dutch driver in the French manufactured Saudi cart. And the Czech driver, Patrick Hayek, he's in third. And Stan Pex in fourth spot. Kramers still holding down position five. Lemmers certainly closing in on the back. He's waiting for his time. He's caught up to Iglesias, who took a brilliant win at the Winter Cup just three weeks ago. This is not even half race distance. Lammers is looking threatening. Will he make a move? No, Iglesias is wise to it. Jeremy Iglesias, one of the most underrated drivers in the, in the paddock. He's super quick. He's found a new team for 2017, the Formula K, and they are a missile combination. Up the straight they go. Oh, Lemmers runs off the track, collects it. No problem for the Dutchman. Hayek, 17 tenths of a second further back to Stan Pex, Kramers. It's still a bass in six from Artigo. 
Alex Hernando, Corberi and Flavio Camponeschi. The 2012 world champion rounds out the 10. Still only De Conto and Yorick Pex. The only casualties in this race. Although De Conto did manage to restart, he is still circulating but way down in last position in the field. This is now half race distance. It is not possible to intimidate Jeremy Iglesias. He's one of the hardest drivers in the field. Remember, these are 34 of the best kart racing drivers in the world here in Castelletto di Branduzzo. Lemmers, three-time former World Cup champion, Won a string of national titles. He's on the back of the Frenchman. Will he make a move? Jeremy Iglesias just turns in that formula cart just early enough to put enough doubt into the mind of Lemmers so that the Dutchman backs out of it. He runs wide. The Soddy cart in second looks good. Meanwhile, Patrick Hayek is catching the both of them. This is enthralling stuff. Up through the chicane. They grab another gear onto the back straight. More than 130 k's an hour. Lemmers looks behind him. He's going to have to make a move soon because Patrick Hayek is catching him. Down the inside he goes. Bass Lemmers, the Dutchman, puts the Soddy cart back out front. Can Iglesias respond? Well, we suspected that Lemmers waited for about two or three laps to make the move. Jeremy will need to get past him immediately or Lemmers will disappear into the distance. Let's look at the replay. The best passing opportunity on the track. Lemmers was committed to that two corners before. Did not break, just drove up the inside. Iglesias knew it was coming. Now let's see if he can respond. The gap is two tenths of a second. You can see it on your screen. It's only about two cart lengths. He'll get the brief benefit of a slipstream down through turn number one. Patrick Hayek in third spot being caught by Stan Pex. Abbas and Ardigo. And indeed, Alex Orlando have now got past Marine Kramers, the Bureau Art driver, back in eight. Now coming under pressure from Luca Corberi, who I think has just gone through, as has Camponeschi, Ben Henley, Douglas Lundberg, Andrea Dalle, Felici Tiene, and Martin van Leeuwen. The Dutchman in the 40 energy cart rounds out the 15. The gap, three tenths of a second. Jeremy Iglesias. Remember, at the Champions Cup at Adria, he had a freak mechanical failure in the pre-final. He had to start that race in last position, and he came charging through the field to finish in position number five. He won the last round of the European Championships at Genk in Belgium last year. That was not with his team as Stan Pex goes down the inside of Patrick Hayek. The Dutchman now up on the podium. Iglesias that we're just talking about in second and running wide. Stan the man Pex in position number three. Abbas is now recovered into fifth as Felici Tiene goes down the inside of his countryman, Andrea Dale. That was for position 13. Behind them, Martin van Leeuwen, Jorge Pescador, Complese, Vigano, Simo Puhaka in the German. Maximilian Paul round out the 20. Three quarter race distance. And the gap is four tenths of a second between Bass Lemmers and Jeremy Iglesias. Stan Pex in third has put a little bit of a gap on Patrick Hayek. What a drive for the young Dutchman. Some may say in the shadow of his older brother Jorrit, the 2015 world champion, having won that title at Le Mans. As Abbas recovers, Abbas picks up another position. Hayek, back to fourth spot. Soddy carts from the front row of the grid. They were first and second, then they got shuffled back to second and fourth. Now they're first and fourth. Surely we won't see two Soddy carts on the podium. A bass with a suspect cart after coming together with Artigo, who still runs in position six. 
are to go the reigning European champion, third in the World Championship last year, and of course, the reigning WSK Super Master Series champion. There's Foray going through. Having charged up from the back of the grid, he's now behind Alessandro Pellizzari in the CKR card. Of course, Alessandro winning a heat in the rain yesterday. And behind him, the German Leon Kohler. So the laps are winding down. Jeremy's going to have to make a move real soon. Otherwise, it's going to be a silver medal this afternoon. Lemmers, almost six tenths of a second. Iglesias in second spot. We should also point out that with Pex in third, it's Dutchman running one and three. You check the gap for you this time round. You can see it's around about 10 or 15 metres. Accelerates up the start, finish straight. Iglesias, he's not getting onto the straight. Well, neither is Artigo. Back in fifth spot. Alex Irlando, there's Hayek. Camponeschi, a good drive from the Italian. Head of Corberi. And Ben Henley from Manchester in England, the Croc Promotion team driver, rounds out the 10. One of the seven lakes in the background of this circuit. This is the lakeside straight they're coming up onto now. The gap, six and a half tenths of a second. I don't think he can do it. Lemmers has been superb. He did win the pre-final this morning. His teammate Abbas trying to hunt down Stan Pex. That gap is half a second. You can see as they come onto the straight, Ardigo struggling just somewhat. Alexia Rolando, superb from the Italian. Former winner of the Rotax Max Grand Finals. He was in fact the first Italian ever to win that title in Portimao in Portugal. CPB Sport Team Driver for 2017, Alex runs in position number six, head of the 2012 world champion, Flavio Camponeschi. The gap now seven tenths of a second between Lemmers and Iglesias. He took a superb win at the Winter Cup three weeks ago. Qualified fastest for the Champions Cup in Adria. He will be a super threat in the European Championships this year. He's in second spot. However, he's got a problem. He may be a Frenchman, but the French manufacturer, they have come out firing in 2017. Here's another one of their carts. Alexia Orlando that we just spoke about. Number 36 going through in sixth spot behind his countryman, Marco Ardigo. The gap is nine tenths. He's not going to do it. This has been a brilliant performance. Abbas is closing on Pex for third spot. He may run out of time. Or can he put two soddy cards up on the podium? Bass Lemmers, the Dutchman, has only got three corners remaining to win the second round of the Super Master Series. Abbas is too far back to catch Pex. The final few corners, the checkered flag comes out. The soddy card driver, Bass Lemmers, has dominated and won here at Castelletto. What a performance, what a drive, what a win by Bass Lemmers and Team Sodicart to win here the second round of the Supermaster Series. Jeremy Iglesias, a brilliant performance across the line in second spot. And Stan the Man Pex makes a two Dutchman on the podium. The CRG driver coming home in position number three. What a race that was. Just sensational here at Castelletto. Take a look at the highlights and all soddy cart front row of the grid. Lemmers from the outside of the front row, remember? Iglesias, he's beat dynamite off the starts. Put that Formula K cart up into third. Artigo is back to fourth. Hayek and Pex, they went side by side, the teammates. Iglesias took advantage of that, as did Artigo. Remember, Takonto was still in it at this point. Lemmers was back to fourth at this early stage of the race. Who would have thought then he would go on to win? Artigo side by side over the back of a bass. That cost the Italian any chance of victory. Again, the Sodicart side by side. That was when the reigning world champion exited the race. Paolo De Conto was a retirement. 
Lammers waited about three or four laps, then forced his way past the Frenchman. And from there, he went on to win by nine tenths of a second. Bass Lammers has won the second round of the Supermaster Series here at Castelletto di Branduzzo. Jeremy Iglesias, the Formula K is second. And the CRG of Stan the Manpex makes it two Dutchmen on the podium. A Bass, good points for the Frenchman, the fastest qualifier. He will be disappointed to miss the podium. He'll be disappointed not to win. But there are still two rounds of the series remaining. Ardigo was fifth from Alex Irlando, Camponeski, Hayek, Henley, and Luca Corberi rounded out the 10. What a race that was. We'll get the reaction from the drivers in just a few moments. Stay with us on WSK.IT. The podium presentation for a sensational KZ2 final in just a few moments.
What a sensational race that was. The KZ2 final here at Castelletto di Branduzzo. In third place, Stan the Man Pex. Welcome to the second step of the podium, the French driver, another brilliant performance. Let's hear it for Jeremy Iglesias. A brilliant 100% drive, the World Cup champion for Team Saudi Cut from Holland, the winner, Bas Lemmers. The girls to present the third place trophy to the Dutch driver, Stan Pex. Second place to the Frenchman for Formula K, Jeremy Iglesias. And the winner here in Castelletto from Holland, representing Team Saudi Card, Bas Lemmers. The girls to present the magnificent Avio Milano timepieces. Third place stands, second place Jeremy, and to the winner, of course, Bas Lemmers. as we stand by for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, the podium for KZ2 in quickly for a word with Stan Peck. Stan, winner of the Champions Cup in Adria, third on the podium today, 2017. Not a bad start. No, well, we start the season very well. Uh, this race was, yeah, it was quite good. Uh, we started on P7, uh, came back to third. Uh, yeah, we are all really close, and but third position is really good. Congratulations, Stan, the man, Pex, Jeremy Iglesias. A brilliant drive, absolutely 100% the entire race. Great moves early on, but just not enough to catch Bass today. Yeah, mm, I did a good start. I checked the lead after four laps. Then I tried to push uh, all uh, my best, and uh, Bass was stronger, so we finished second. But uh, I'm really happy because uh, our material is uh, really performant, and... I think we will be back stronger. Thank you, Jeremy. It was great watching you today. And Bass Lemmers, very emotional on the po top of the podium. Soddy Cart 2017. Is this going to be your year? Well, it has been very good uh, so far. I'm very happy because uh, the hard work, hard work pays off. And um, I would like to thank everyone that believed me in me in my capacity. I would like to thank my team, Soddy Cart all the people on the team, the factory, TM Racing Engines for the fantastic engines and it feels amazing to be on P1 and it was a hard race because at the, in, at the beginning it was not so good but the circuit was better and the engine was better and I was able to follow the guy, the leader and um, yeah. I'm happy to be here with them together. So, big thank you to everyone. Thank you. Congratulations, Bass, and of course, Holland, one and three, and Jeremy, the Frenchman, in second place. Two finals done, two remain here at Castelletto, the junior final, in just a moment.